Interest rates and inventory are up, demand is down, so why haven't we seen the housing market crash yet? Well, we're gonna go over the two main reasons this hasn't happened in today's episode. Hi, I'm Josh Alexander and your host of Orange County Housing Market News, your one-stop shop for all things Orange County real estate. So like I said on today's episode, we're gonna be looking at why home prices are not falling even though it seems like the housing market is slowing down dramatically. So let's go ahead and get into it. Interest rates have gone up by over 3% since the beginning of the year. Demand is at the lowest point it's been in Orange County since 2007, right before the last housing crash. So why haven't we seen home values plummet? Well, it has everything to do with supply. So let me go ahead and explain. So right now in Orange County, we have 65% less homes on the market than we typically do during a normal year before COVID. And on top of that, we've put 17% less homes than normal on the market this year, which is just leading us to this extremely low inventory environment that we've been dealing with for years at this point. Yes, inventory numbers are going up. However, historically, they're still very, very low. So even though demand is low, inventory is lower than demand right now, which is why we haven't seen home prices plummet yet. So that leads to the question, well, what will it take to get inventory to a level where we start seeing home values go down? Well, there's two main ways to do that. Number one is we start seeing more homes hit the market. So sellers have to put their houses on the market faster than they have before. And right now the data is showing that's just not going to happen for two big reasons. Number one, people are staying in their homes longer. As the years go on every single year, people are starting to stay in their homes longer and not moving as frequently. And on top of that, especially compared to 2007, people are no longer underwater on their homes. So there's not this giant amount of homes hitting the market that are based on forced sales, which means they just couldn't afford their mortgage payment and they had to sell their home. Right now in the United States, homeowners have never had this much equity built up in their homes in the entire history of the US. So people that purchased homes over the last 10 plus years are very well qualified. They can afford their mortgage payments. And yes, there will be more foreclosures and foreclosures have been going up, especially over the last couple months. However, that's not going to make a significant difference in the current housing market to really see home values fall because of that. So realistically, it's not going to be very likely that you're going to see a flood of homes hit the market all at once and start seeing home values fall because of that. The only other way that you're going to see home values start to fall has to do with interest rates. So if you follow this channel, you'll know that in the middle of June, we had the high interest rate of 6.28%, but ever since then, it started to go back down. And over the last two months, for the most part, it's been hovering between five and five and a half percent. Now, back in June, when we did see that interest rate spike, we did see demand plummet. We started seeing inventory build on the market at a much quicker pace than it used to, which is why when these new numbers for July just came out showing we've seen 30 to 40 percent drops in the amount of home sales in the U.S. It has a lot to do with those very high interest rates in June because people that are looking for homes in June are typically closing on those homes in July. So that's one of the reasons we saw such a significant decrease in the housing market activity over the month of July. But the problem is ever since June, we saw those interest rates drop back down. And when they did, we saw the market start to calm back down again. And over the last couple of weeks, we've actually seen the market in Orange County get a little bit hotter as inventory continues to drop, which is normal for this time of year as people go back to school, we're starting to see more homes being pulled off the market. And even though demand is continuing to drop as well, they're dropping at very similar rates at this point, which means the housing market you see today is most likely going to be the same type of housing market you see a month or two months from now as well. So unless we start seeing interest rates spike above that 6% again and stay there for the long term, it's going to be very unlikely that we're going to see any significant depreciation in the market anytime soon. Yes, we might see home values flattened by the end of the year. However, if you're sitting there as a buyer, hoping and just waiting for that 20 to 30% drop like we saw during the last recession happen, that's just not in the cards right now. The housing market is completely different than back in 2007. If you want more detailed breakdown on that, if you're watching this on YouTube, check out this link up here where I go over it in a lot of detail, why today's market is completely different than 2007, 2008, and why you just can't expect home values to plummet like that again 
anytime soon. So if you are a home buyer in the market right now and you are concerned that you're going to see values drop, one of the biggest things that you should be watching is interest rates. If interest rates start going up and stay there, then you can start seeing home values fall maybe by a percent or two. Again, we're not going to see a dramatic decrease like we did last time. However, the biggest thing for you to remember if you are a buyer right now is that if you're placing offers, you need to do a very thorough job of looking at the comparable sales to make sure that you're not overpaying for a house. So make sure you're working with an agent that's taking the time to go over the comps in detail with you. That way you know you're paying fair market value for the house and you're not overpaying in today's market. So I hope this information was valuable to you. If you did find it helpful, would you please hit that like, subscribe, and that share button below if you know anybody else that might find this information useful. I would really appreciate it. And until next time, stay healthy, stay happy, and I'll see you on the next show. Bye.